Eclipse has an installer package that can make the installation process easier. You can go out to the downloads page under the packages to see the link to the download the installer. Then you want to download for your operating system. Save the file and wait for the download to complete. Once the download finishes, you can open up a terminal and go to your downloads page. Inside, you'll see the installer package. We're going to unzip that package with tar xvfz and then the name of the package. When that's done, you'll see an Eclipse installer folder. We're going to change directories into that folder. We're going to run the installer program here. We'll type dot forward slash and then the name of the executable. Once you hit enter, the installer will start. The installer lets you install the IDE with the plugins that's best for you. In this case, we're going to use PHP as an example. You can change the installation folder. If it's a desktop, you may want to put it in the opt or opt directory. Accept the terms and conditions, and then the installation will start. There can be several of these license agreements to accept based on which package you chose to install. You may want to check off to remember these so that when you update Eclipse later, you won't have to accept the agreement again. During the installation, you may be asked to accept some code signing certificates. To select these, hit the Select All button, and then Accept. Note that this installation may take a while. This one's been sped up thanks to the magic of video editing. When the installation is complete, you can hit launch. And your new Eclipse IDE will start up.